Back at it again, guys. I got our temperature sensor. I've got wired up to a Raspberry Pi. I bought it on Adafruit.com. I haven't seen any video reviews or tutorials on this, so here we go. Um, I can also measure humidity, so I got a project going on so I can measure temps in my garage server room. A little steep, but you know, it's just nice. I can hook it up to the Raspberry Pi and have it networked. Um, yeah, so it comes with four wires. You can see, um, got my Raspberry Pi 3. It's in the little chassis where I turn a cable modem into a Raspberry Pi computer. It's a little jerry-rigged, but we're going to fix it now that I know it works. So I've got these um, these little pigtail things here just for testing, but now that I know it works, I'm going to actually get a crimping tool so I can put these little jumper bits on the end of it. The uh, This is the housing itself. The wires are pretty long as it is. And so they go out in this uh, quadrant of wires. Um, I'll put it up on the screen to lay out pretty much. It's... Um, it's the three, four, five, and six pinout, as you can see. So uh, two of them, one is for power, five volt, and one is for ground. All right, so I'm gonna link this website in the video description. So this is going to be Adafruit's instructions, how to get it working. Uh, scroll down, the first step, honestly, go to your Raspberry, and you're going to do Raspi config. And make sure that your uh, I2C interface is working. Go to I2C and just make sure that it is yes. It is not on by default. So, and you can go here as many times as you want. It's always going to say this. So there's no way to know if it was enabled, disabled, etc. Just hit escape. And uh, yeah, next step, honestly, is uh, I have everything here. So honestly, guys, if you scroll down here, um, you first have to install this PIP3 library here. When that is good, you're just gonna run this and you're gonna run that, this two here. That's it. it that literally it works. Um, do not worry about this step. I cannot get this working. Just worry about the two snippets of code here. As you can see, it is awesome. I have a function here to convert it from Celsius to Fahrenheit because this is America. Uh, I'm so used to, um, to, uh, Fahrenheit, I, I can't. <laughs> so, as you can see, oh, that's not it. Um, it will display the temperature, and it's pretty accurate. It's not real time, so unless you want to have it do it every, do a quick while true loop, you could, and have it refresh every second or two. So watch, I'm going to breathe into it as you can see and uh all of a sudden it changes from 81 degrees humidity went up honestly people have said this sensor is actually really um sensitive i kind of believe it kind of happy to because it's nice to have accuracy but i don't know it doesn't feel like 81 degrees in here but then again my computer is a heat box so uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I've got another, my next project is to just create a dashboard with two sensors and it's just going to go to a Docker container. So yeah, let me know what you guys think.